Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, in recent years, some of the patients and friends that I have have walked into pharmacies and asked the pharmacist if it's okay to take a glucosamine supplement for their arthritis if you have type 2 diabetes. In almost every case, the pharmacist consulted their reference book and told the individual that glucosamine supplementation raises blood sugar levels and should not be taken by diabetics. Well, this is clearly wrong and outdated information. As reviewed in the journal Archives of Rheumatology in 2016, these researchers cited research showing that in 33 recent studies, there was no evidence that glucosamine supplementation raises blood sugar even in overweight subjects. Further, they cited other studies showing that glucosamine supplementation did not adversely affect blood sugar in diabetic patients. In addition, these researchers performed their own double-blind glucose tolerance test on 40 patients who had osteoarthritis. Half the patients took 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine sulfate each day. The other half took a placebo. And the results showed that the glucosamine supplement did not raise blood sugar levels compared to the placebo. Not, no difference whatsoever. And this is important because many type 2 diabetics are overweight which speeds up cartilage degeneration in weight-bearing joints such as the knees and the hips. In these cases, uh, glucosamine sulfate supplementation can be used to relieve arthritic pain and to slow or halt further cartilage destruction that often leads to pain and suffering as well as the possible need for knee and hip replacement surgery, which you'd like to avoid if you can. There are no drugs that can slow cartilage degeneration in our joints. Only glucosamine sulfate supplementation has ever been shown to do this. Now, in a 2014 study, researchers also showed that glucosamine administration to roundworms extended their lifespan by lowering glucose release and by stimulating mitochondrial biogenesis, as typically occurs in intermittent fasting and caloric restriction. So you've seen the study showing that intermittent fasting and caloric restriction extend lifespan. Well, glucosamine administration to certain species does exactly the same thing. It also extended the lifespan of aging mice compared to mice not given glucosamine. Now, many of the longevity studies uh, researchers cite are done first on roundworms, fruit flies, mice, and a certain species of yeast, which have provided a great deal of insight into strategies that humans can use to extend years of functional living and prevent age-related diseases. In fact, most of the revelations as to how our longevity sirtuin genes function were first identified in roundworms, fruit flies, mice, and yeast. And all the evidence points to the fact that glucosamine supplementation can help to prevent cartilage erosion linked to aging and arthritic changes, but it can also turn on genes and mechanisms within our cells linked to longevity and disease prevention on many levels. Now, in previous lifestyle medicine videos, I've outlined the, the human studies showing that people using glucosamine have lower rates of certain cancers and heart disease. So this research continues to emerge. So I personally use and recommend a glucosamine uh, sulfate supplement that uh, also contains three natural anti-inflammatory agents, quercetin, bromelain, and MSM, which make it a faster acting glucosamine supplement to reduce inflammation and pain and give some relief to joints and prevent inflammation from occurring in the aging process. I believe that everyone over 40 years of age should take a low-dose version of this supplement, you know, like one capsule a day versus three capsules a day that you would give somebody with osteoarthritis to help prevent age-related cartilage erosion as our body begins to make less glucosamine after the age of 40. That's the key point. We're making less glucosamine. Putting some in low dose via supplement can help to give your cartilage the glucosamine it needs to preserve its cartilage integrity. So I've included the 2014 and 2016 studies showing that glucosamine is safe and effective to take for diabetics and overweight patients, and that experimental studies show how glucosamine switches on the longevity circuit within cells of roundworms and aging mice. Uh, so I've included those references in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.